All right, Doug, thank you very much. Right now, a significant safety upgrade is in the works at the Davis Bessey Nuclear Power Station in Oak Harbor. Workers are replacing a reactor head at the plant because the current one has issues with cracking. Here's Fox Toledo's Allison Brown with how installing this thing, not as easy as it might sound. Here is Davis Bessey's new reactor head. It's about eight feet tall and weighs more than 82 tons. A special building was created just to store it while crews work to get the old one out of this containment building. The reactor vessel head will be brought up here to this lift system, lifted up and then, and then railed into the containment building. There's a lot of heavy equipment uh, with this project and safety is, you know, primary, our, our key. Uh, goal with everything that we do. Um, so a lot of people working up in the air, a lot of heavy equipment. Because through a process called hydro demolition, crews will be busting through the side of the building to make the switch. One of the reasons we're replacing the reactor vessel head here at Davis Bessie is because we had issues with these nozzles. 24 out of the 69 control rod nozzles on the head had pressurized cracking. That's why more than 1,600 temporary contractors and First Energy employees are bringing in this new head, one that has nozzles made of a new material that is thought to be safer and less likely to crack called Alloy 690. Even though this reactor head replacement seems pretty intense, things should be back to normal here at Davis Bessey by mid-November. We selected this time of year to perform the replacement activities because it's not the peak of the summer load where electric demand is high and the same in the middle of winter. And that's why no First Energy customer will even notice the plant is going through these crucial changes. By the way, when it comes to how much this project will cost, First Energy simply said millions, but the new head is thought to last for at least 40 years. Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News.